again. I hope you enjoyed that beautiful music. That was me playing piano. Slightly sped up because I'm not actually that great at it, but that's 100% irrelevant to the topic at hand, which is this game, which is actually my first Highlander game. At this point, I'm extremely nervous, and uh, you can see that in my play. I'm playing pretty badly. I try to get this demo. I miss for some reason, although I did hear that hit sound, so I'm a little mad, but whatever. I did upload this video before without commentary, just to see what people would think. And going through the feedback, I can kind of tell that this would better be a commentary, because there's a lot of stuff that you can't really see or hear, which is uh, partly me talking, and partly what I was thinking at the time. So, uh, here we are with commentary. It's a very long video, it's almost 22 minutes which is a long time to be talking, and I'm not actually sure I'm going to be able to talk for that entire period of time. I see the spy right here, and I try to call out for that, to the heavy that he's there, but uh, I did lag for a second there, so I'm going to go ahead and blame that on the lag, but that death was just unfortunate for me. I shouldn't have gone out there. Uh, at this point, I broke force with the sniper. You can see me talking right now. I'm telling him there's a spy behind him, and it ends up saving his life, and he picks up a kill. And, as you can tell, he thanks me, and from that point on, I start to play less badly. I kind of realize that, hey, I'm actually uh, doing a good job on this team, so for the next seven minutes or so, I start to get better and better. Uh, this is my first Highlander game, if I haven't said that already, and I was, I was very jittery, and I knew I was very jittery, and I knew I was going to play poorly at the beginning, and for the most part, I did. Uh, just, my DM was fairly bad and some of my uh, meta wasn't so great, but about halfway through I start to get better and get a hang of things. Now right here I sat that sentry. Some people say that that was a bad idea, but I knew that I had soldier, demo man, and heavy, and pyro next to me, so I was just trying to take that out so they wouldn't have to worry about that, and it ended up working. Uh, unfortunately I do die to a scout here. I think I tanked a shot for that pyro, and I just had poor movement in general, so I died. Uh, for the first for the first part of this, I go, I think, just under an even KD, which means that I only get one kill per life, which is, um, technically it's average, but it's not terribly exciting to watch. Now, at this point, I'm doing my best to communicate with my team via voice, so you should see that quite a bit down there, more so than usual, because that's kind of rare for me. Uh, I do stomp on the sniper for basically the entire game. I might dominate him twice, so you'll see quite a bit of that later. Right here, I'm going for the demo man, and then Pyro pops up on me, and Medic pops up on me. I'm flustered. I have the jitters at that point. I missed the um, stab on that Medic, which is what I was going for. You could actually see my knife raise there for a second, and then I stabbed about half a second late. So I was kind of mad about that, but... You know, I was still kind of nervous, first competitive game, so my hand-eye coordination was a bit off, and I was hitting some of the wrong keys and looking the wrong way, etc. Uh, if you haven't noticed by now, I am using the Cloak and Dagger. I'm actually starting to like this watch more and more as I use it. On this map in particular, there's not really any areas where I had problems traversing long spaces. I use the corners to the best of my ability, and right there you could see I just waited until everybody left before stabbing that, and we end up getting that teleporter, which is uh, quite a boon, and we get the engineer down uh, with a messy face stab and a scout death, but, you know, we'll take what we can get. At this point, I am kind of hungry for that heavy, but this pyro is actually a nightmare for me the entire game. That's the only overhead I get on them the entire game. I think I get one more corner on them. Uh, but they are a pain in my ass. Right here, I was actually... Uh, I was very happy at that moment right there. If you go back and look at that, uh, I was sitting there on fire, just dodging that heavy, and waiting for the medic to Crusader's crossbow, which I knew was coming because I had seen that in respawn cam, so... That was a very cool thing, uh, for me at least. It was interesting because you don't see that kind of coordination in pubs. Right here I just kind of get unlucky. It's embarrassing for me, I just run straight into the heavy. 
and then Pyro kills me, but I do get that Sapper on the teleporter, and somehow that actually finishes it off, which is fantastic. That means that they have no teleporter for an extended period of time. And that's great. As you can see, that engineer was setting up. We don't have to worry about pushes. We have some breathing room. Uh, you'll see the sniper actually a few times are very good. They're on my friends list now because they were so good. Uh, same one I saved from before, obviously. Uh, but I digress. Now, I'm still trying to figure out the map a little bit, so I'm just kind of running into dead ends and stuff, trying to figure stuff out. Uh, even in the next round, I'm still trying to figure out where I'm trying to go, and you'll see that I'll take a teleporter that goes straight to the cart, and then I take the long way out of it, which is kind of embarrassing. Uh, at this point, coming up, I'm actually going to call out a push to my team, and they end up just exploding them. I'm not sure if I had anything to do with that, but right now I'm calling out those four, the scout, demo, pyro, and medic, and they pretty much all die. And I'm sitting there, stab hungry, and there's nothing to do. Uh, there's a the sniper again, of course. I'm just gonna go up and headshot him. For some reason, he's using Razorback, and I'm still making his life miserable. Uh, I did get a hand from the sniper there. That was probably overkill, but you know, no harm done, so... We'll continue on our merry way. Got a mini I'm disguising mini as Scout right now for some reason, and I see the Scout right there, so I'm a little scared of that Engineer. Um, I hear the Pyro and I kind of freak out and run into some walls, and it's not so great. I'm lagging a bit here, and I try to get an overhead on that Pyro, and for some reason, it just it doesn't connect. I get a negative 40 and I'm sad. Uh, I try a corner on that Pyro. Uh, honestly, I should have turned it into a Matador. But that soldier took me by surprise, and I ended up just spamming my ambassador and doing nothing useful, which is kind of sad. Uh, I feel as though if I was in a pub, that would have actually worked out in my favor. But, you know, at this point I'm still a little bit nervous. Uh, I'm, getting, I'm getting a hang of it at this point, and in the next few minutes you'll see me turn it around. Uh, right now I'm kind of diving in with no health. I'm kind of worried about that. Uh, I completely forget there's a full health kit down there, and I do that several times, so you'll see me just pick up this half kit quite a bit. And I saw that sniper dead on the ground, so I disguise as him right now. In retrospect, that's probably not the best idea, since the sniper wouldn't be running around there anyways. The pyro instantly knows it's me, and uh, I'm kind of running for my life. I'm actually very surprised that I survived this encounter. Uh, apparently the pyro didn't relight me, because suddenly I'm out, and I'm kind of confused, because I thought I was going to die looking for health, but they didn't hit me with another flame particle, and that was very hilarious for me. Uh, right there, I kind of go for the medic, and then I switch to the demo man, and get away. Uh, I knew if I went for the medic, the pyro would have gotten me, the medic would have turned around, and it would have just been awful, so I take what I can get, and I actually get away, which is surprising. Six health. Uh, that's quite a sliver of health. Now the, I saw that pyro, I knew they were going to look at me, I knew they were going to do that. I do get the corner on them, and I almost get the headshot on that sniper, but I was actually fairly preoccupied with uh, finding a health kit, because I still don't quite know this map, so I'm kind of out of my element a little bit. But we make do, as always. Coming up here in my next life, I'm actually going to get a very clutch medic pick. Uh, he just got 100% Uber, and he's about to pop it, and I deny him it. Uh, it's fairly sexy, but the build-up before is actually... It was uncommon for me. Uh, I would not just sit here normally in a pub. I would not do this. I'm just waiting for people to come around the corner. Usually I would be going out there cloaked. And it ends up getting uh, one of the best stabs in the entire game, and if you look down at chat right now, you can see the engineer saying, nice pick, in all caps. And when I die right here, I take the opportunity to respond to him. For some reason, I didn't see that spy. I'm still kind of chalking these mistakes up to not knowing the map. I think he came in through that door. Uh, I'm not even sure where that door comes from. But, we'll figure it out, I guess. Uh, we get kind of in a stalemate up here in a bit, and I start to learn the map a little bit more, and I start using it more, and I start doing better. Right now, I get the heavy pick. I didn't quite know who was around the corner, so that was a little suicidal. 
Uh, I cloaked because I was not expecting the pyro, and I die, unfortunately. But we do completely stop that push with the help of the pyro and the scout, so that's actually... Uh, I think that was a fairly good thing for me to do. That's um, not something I would do in a pub. I keep on saying this, but uh, competitive Highlander, I'm doing a lot of things that I don't normally do. Like, killing myself when I'm completely safe. I don't usually do that, <laughs> contrary to popular belief. Um, I think that's about my last stupid mistake. There might be one more with that soldier. Uh, but from this point on, it's fairly standard gameplay for me. Well, not standard, but uh, for the task at hand, I do fairly well. Now, I'm not entirely sure sapping the sentry was a good idea. I'm not sure it was doing anything useful. And it ends up getting killed. I actually don't know why that stab didn't connect with the engineer, because you could very clearly hit, hear the knife hit sound. And I end up dying for that. At the beginning of this next life, you can see me catering to the Cloak and Dagger playstyle a little bit. I just kind of cloak to peek around a corner to see if it's safe, and then I decloak. And by the time I'm cloaking again, I do have full cloak. Uh, it's not much, but I'm just checking the corner, making sure it's safe. Now I have full cloak again. Now I cloak, check the corner, see if it's safe. And now I have full cloak again. So uh, that's one thing that you can do with the Cloak and Dagger that's you can't really do with the invisibility watch because its natural regen isn't that high. Uh, right here I get the engineer pick and a heavy pick, which is pretty good considering I'm still alive. I tried for the medic pick there, but I didn't quite hit it. But, you know, did pretty good. At this point I call for medic and then I kind of use voice chat for a minute to um, let them know that I am not a spy running at them. Calling for medic. And this part is just, frankly, it's ridiculous. He just shoots straight at my feet and then ignores me. And I'm out of cloak and I jello for a second there. And I'm just absolutely baffled at this point that he didn't kill me. And so I kind of chase him and die in the most embarrassing manner possible. Right now I'm doing my fair part as a competitive player, and I'm actually alt-tabbed, reporting the uh, missing Blue Scout, which is unfortunate, actually. I'd prefer that it had been 9v9 the entire time, but it does kind of fall apart a little at this point. Uh, from this point on, I disguise mainly as a scout to kind of take advantage of the fact that they're missing that player. Uh, right now I'm a sniper, and if I was a second later, I would have survived right here, I think. And that's unfortunate, because that medic was wide open, and that soldier was shooting at the window, so he would have been wide open as well. And the demo man would have started to spam, so he probably would have been wide open. So, it's a very unfortunate turn of events. But, we survive, and we continue. Right here I get spies like us, if I didn't already have it. Uh, I inform my team that there's a spy around, and I kind of look around and uh, see if I can find him and counter espionage a bit. Um, I'm just kind of body checking right now to see if he's using cloak and dagger, and I end up getting a soldier kill out of pure luck. Uh, I believe I saved the sniper there because he thanked me, and then I get a demo stab. So already this is a pretty good life, uh, and I'm just trying to see what I can do to make it better. This roof right here, I end up camping it quite a bit. Uh, it's very good. It's a very good roof for spy anyways. I can kind of get the stragglers that come over, and when I have the opportunity, I can uh, do my best to stop any pushes. I'm kind of sad that stab didn't hit, and I'm kind of sad that shot didn't hit, and I ended up dying. But, but we got the teleporter. I sapped it a bit, and then I think somebody else picked it up. I'm doing my best to keep the buildings under control, in particular the teleporters. Uh, especially right now, that's fairly important. It gives it gives the team a lot of breathing room for defense, uh, especially the engineer and the medic to build Uber. And, you know, just be prepared for anything that may come our way. Right here is probably my worst usage of the Cloak and Dagger the entire game. I just kind of spend 75% of my cloak to do nothing but it ends up not even mattering in any way because I don't run into anybody because we took the teleport. Like I said, it gave me that breathing room to uh, use my cloak and dagger in an awful way. I'm trying to get this medic before he pops over. I end up missing it, uh, so I move on to greener pastures. 
I get the sniper, and then I cloak behind this frog because I know that there's a mini sentry out to my right and disguise, and then I just go see what I can do. And I end up getting a demo man and a soldier. Uh, they were both fairly low health, and there was a soldier right there, so that wasn't particularly uh, as good as my soldier and demo kill before. But you know, uh, right now I'm looking for that spy. I called out that he was an engineer, and I'm just trying to see if I can predict his path. Uh, I kind of guess at that pyro, and I face stab him. Uh, I was more trying to body block him for the engineer if he was a spy. But, you know, at this point, I'm just trying to see if I can help out the pyro a bit. Uh, I I peek out. I see that he's fighting the soldier. It turns out, so I try to pick him. I'm actually not sure if the pyro is still alive, but I do get that kill, and uh, I juke this engineer a little bit. I try to pick up the engineer kill with a headshot and some body shots, and I end up missing, and he gets away. I'm not sure where, but he's going for health, so I'm just going to pick off his sentry and see what else I can do. Uh, I see this sniper with 120 health. And I end up getting him with a headshot and a body shot, which was a pleasant surprise. I thought he might have one health left after that. And right now I'm about to get uh, probably the clutchest thing of the entire match. There's four people on the cart, and I get every single one. <laughs> and then I kind of laugh about it and chat with uh, the soldier and the sniper. And that actually ends this round uh, with a last spy kill there. I guess he was trying to revolver the sniper or something. And I ended up top fragging that round, which is really good. Uh, right out of the gate, I get slammed by a rocket, and so I'm actually very thankful for that overkill. And somehow he hits me again, and so I think that he's looking for me, so I just kind of chill here for a while. And I see that he didn't actually see me at all, and I'm not quite sure how he hit me straight on. So I just continue on my way. Uh, I saw that engineer, so I just kind of juke him out of it. And I'm just going up for this health, and I happen to see the sniper there. And I pick him off. He's not using the Razorback anymore, if you noticed. Uh, because it just wasn't doing anything for him. So he did change out of that. And, I mean, it didn't make a difference either way for me. He still would have died. So it's... It's kind of hilarious. They're correct, they're correct. Now this pyro, I don't even know how they were looking in my direction. I was kind of upset about that because I was about to pick off that medic and that heavy. So I get some health and I try to do it again, but by the time I get over there, the medic and the heavy are already dead and the uber is spent. So it's fairly sad for me. Uh, you saw that pyro go off to the right there. They're going to be right behind me right after I turn around. And I try to get a stab matador. Uh, it doesn't connect, but that's okay because my entire team was there, and they died. Uh, right here, I just kind of blow all my cloak to do nothing. This is another kind of example of bad cloaking. Uh, I end up with no cloak, and I'm not quite sure what to do. And I end up decloaking right in front of the heavy medic combo, which actually uh, is good for us in retrospect. He is distracted by me, and... I consider hiding behind that crate, so, you know, if I can do anything, but I know that he's probably going to check there. So I just kind of draw their attention away for a bit. I see that he stopped looking for me, and the medic has a back wide, wide open. And I almost get the kill on that pyro with a uh, ambassador body shot, but it doesn't connect. But I did get the medic, so that life was, in fact, a success. And that was actually fairly interesting for me, because uh, even though I didn't get like a good deal amount of kills. I did get a medic pick and I did distract the heavy for long enough to get a team push in there so even though I wasn't actively doing anything I was still being effective. Now at this point the teams are kind of falling apart as you can see we're absolutely stomping and I'm gonna look out here for a second and I see the heavy just sitting there looking at the ground with the screw out and I'm not quite sure what he's doing and then the soldier pops up behind me. I don't know where he came from, but uh, he kills me, and I'm very sad because I was dominating him. Uh, as you can see, the heavy at that point is just completely AFK. Uh, I don't think they have a scout, so their team is kind of falling apart. And we're absolutely stomping, so we do end up winning this round. 
Now, right now is kind of one of those examples where I have no idea what the map is. I take this teleporter, and there's two ways for me to go, and I just ignore both of them because I don't even know that they exist. But you know, you learn, you live, you love, and some other deep quotes. Uh, I actually see my mistake up here in a bit. I kind of make the connection that I should have taken that door. When I look over to the left, I'm like, oh. <laughs> That's probably why that teleporter was there. Uh, right here, I'm going to abuse uh, teammates with this demo man. I don't actually get a headshot, which I was hoping for, but I cloak in front of him, cloak back, uh, decloak for that engineer, and then cloak again, and when the soldier comes in, I decloak. And I kind of put him in a position where, you know, he's going to die either way. Right here, I don't know why that pirate didn't immediately light me up, but I do try to sparve them a bit, and I end up uh, in a bad position, so I just kind of turn around and I get a medic pick and a sniper pick and two dominations simultaneously, which is absolutely hilarious. And I'm kind of laughing, laughing at right? that pyro internally for being unable to save the Demo's medic. Dead. And that actually wraps up this commentary. It looks like I actually did talk the entire period of time. It was my first Highlander, and I'm actually fairly proud of this gameplay. I did pretty well, and I adapted pretty well. If you guys noticed, I am playing music underneath. Let me know if you like that, and I'll put that in other videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.